Hi, I'm Jay Grunke, founder of The Balanced Runner, and I've been helping runners from beginner to Olympian improve their form and performance since 2003. And I'm here today to explain to you why your arms are swinging so wide out from your body and why you're having trouble correcting that and what you need to do uh, to make to correct it so that it really sticks. Um, take a moment please to hit like uh, on this video so that YouTube knows to share it with other runners who need this information. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications so that you don't miss a video. Uh, and be sure to click show more in the description below. I've got a free resource for you there that will send you to the heart of this issue and again what you need to do to correct it. So you're going to want to get that resource. So what causes your arms to swing wide? Um, first, let's define a wide arm swing. So I'm not talking just about elbows that stick out when you run. I've recently made another video about that and I'll put the link to that down in the description as well. So you can take a look if that's actually the problem you're looking to fix. Here I'm talking about your whole arm swing is far out from your body. Uh, something like this or like this. Um, so again, if you have this problem, probably you know, you can kind of tighten up your arm swing while you're thinking about it, but the moment you think about something else, your arms go right back out to where they were before. And it can just go on for years and be a really frustrating problem. And it is costing your performance to swing your arms like that. But the, the source of the problem is not your arms themselves. It's what's happening with your torso, which is determining where and how your arms can swing. So, there are two variations on this problem, so I'm going to explain both to you. The first and more common is that your torso is actually a bit flexed, like this, so that your back looks rounded, especially in the upper back when you run. And uh, that, again, makes your arms swing out here because if you just relax your arms and except keep your elbows bent and let them hang that that's just where you know where they hang <laughs> when your trunk is flexed and so that is going to give you this kind of an arm swing and uh, uh, you need to fix this issue in order to fix the arm swing now again as I've explained many times you don't want to run with your torso vertical that is you don't want to run like this you do have a forward lean when you run, but that is completely different from rounding your back. So I'm also going to put a link to my forward lean playlist down in the description. So if you want to learn more about that, if you're not familiar with how that all works, take the time to watch because it's going to make a huge difference to your running. Um, so if you have this version where your torso is flexed, your upper back is noticeably rounded, uh, uh, and that's causing your arms to swing wide, you probably also struggle with your breathing. And the reasons for that are pretty obvious. Your ribs are all squished together in the front and can't easily expand. And the ribs in the back are already expanded and it can't expand more to take in air. And so, and your diaphragm, uh, your abdomen is, is uh, compressed as well and your diaphragm can't make the movement that it needs to make, which is most important for breathing. So for very many reasons, uh, you want to sort this problem out. And um, again, there's a, a resource in the description that is going to really help you with that. So that's version one. Version two of this problem is where your torso is just really uh, stiff. And you just, stays, you just stay square here all the time when you run and have a minimum of rotation of your upper body and or your pelvis. So your upper body, in running and walking, your upper body turns one direction and your pelvis turns the other direction, like this. And if you don't have enough of that, then various gait dysfunctions appear. Um, if you have too much of that, then other gait dysfunctions appear. But I'll be honest with you, that's rare. <laughs> that's much rarer than not having enough in our modern society. So, um, uh, if you're very stiff here, and that also means that you're not shifting your weight from leg to leg, your arms have to do that um, balancing act for you. So just like when you're, ba when you're walk trying to walk on a balance beam or a curb or a slack line maybe, but I can't do that, but maybe you can, <laughs> you put your arms out to the side for balance, 
It's exactly like that. So your weight is just staying in one place, but you've got your legs turning over, meaning that you're almost falling this way when you're on your uh, when you're on your right leg, you're struggling not to fall to the left, and when you're on the left leg, you're struggling not to fall to the right because your weight is staying right in between your legs because you're very stiff here. And so you're doing you're, you're um, counterbalancing with your arms. So you're on your right leg, and your right arm is swinging way out here, and that helps you balance on your right leg and not fall to the left too much, and vice versa. So exaggerating everything but that's the basic principle so in that case you might almost get a kind of an egg beater action with your arms well that's producing an interesting movement here but in running it's because you're not um, because your weight is changing leg to leg which is not happening as I'm standing still and demonstrating this so if that's the issue um, you need to get your core in action so I talk for runners about core action rather than core stability that is finding the correct action for your trunk. There's something your torso is supposed to be doing. Again, this counter rotation and side shifting. You see all the top runners do it. It makes a huge difference in your performance. And that's the resource I have for you in the description. Um, it's a, a simple Feldenkrais lesson on how to get your core in action. And it will help with both versions of this problem. So if you're very flexed, you have a hard time doing the core action as well. And this uh, counter rotation uh, powerfully regulates flexion and extension in your torso and helps you keep from doing too much of either. It helps bring you to a happy middle where you're neutral rather than flexed or overextended. So if you have any, kind, any problem along those lines, this lesson is going to really help you find the balance that's in between while maintaining a forward lean when you run. And if you have the problem where you're just really stiff here and you're running like this, um, it's gonna help you get this motion and your arms will come in. And a lot of that, the arm change is gonna happen when you get the core action working well, the arm change is fairly spontaneous. So um, I never ask people to restrict movement when they run because excessive movement in one place, in this case, the arms, is actually a sign of too little movement somewhere else. Your body is a system that works all together. So when you find the place that's not moving enough and begin to allow an appropriate amount of movement there, the place that's moving too much just down regulates all by itself and your arms are gonna improve. And so uh, definitely get that lesson. Take a look at the related videos again <laughs> below. So my forward lean playlist. Also my arm swing playlist, so you have a clear idea of what a good arm swing looks like. Um, and um, uh, I think that's everything that I have for you. So um, thanks so much for watching. Again, please share this with your running friends. Hit like, subscribe if you haven't, get the resource, and I will see you next week.